Welcome back everybody, it's English and I want to thank Liberty. They've been in education for over 30 years and thank you to them for making this possible. Please would you download the Tenfold Education app. You will find such useful material there and you can follow us on YouTube at Mindset Learn. We're looking at question two which is the summary question and you should by now know how many points you have to have. Please look at the specific instruction which will be in bold and I think you should highlight that as well. You've got to follow those instructions. And here are your steps. You're looking for the main ideas that relate to the instruction. So get rid of examples. Get rid of anything that isn't a direct answer to the instruction. Make sure you've kept all of the necessary sentences. Now what about using your own words? Change just a word, slightly, keep the same meaning. Then you should write it in full. Remember, this is F-A-L, you number the points one to seven. Because you've written it in full, you can now count the number of words. You can not exceed the number of words. Please try to be 70 on the dot. And then you put the number of words at the bottom. Don't lie. If it is 68 or 72, don't lie. Cannot say this often enough. Cannot say this often enough. I cannot tell you how many candidates to make the word count do not write sentences. And then it's the word count is out. So now you've written it in full. You now edit that draft. You make sure you've got the right number of words and seven separate points. Then you put a line through your rough draft. And if you do all of that, you should get a minimum of seven out of 10. Here are the tips for you to go through in preparation for writing the summary. So you've got to find the sentences that correspond that link to the question, the focus. You must write in full sentences, but they can be concise, to the point, short. I would recommend leaving, <clears throat> sorry, leaving a line open between every sentence. Your own words, remember what we said? change a word a little. So add a word, take a word away, change the word order, use a synonym. That means that you are not quoting directly from the text and you will get the marks for using your own words. Check. Often the topic says give advice. In other words, it's a command a request or an imperative. Just check. It isn't always, but it very often is. And if the question says give advice, then you must give it as advice. Do this, do that. And I really would recommend lots and lots of practice. Question three is the advert question. Ten marks there will be a question on target audience. So who's the target audience? The person that the advertisers think would want that product or that service. Please don't say 
I don't think it's effective because I'm not the target audience. You must imagine that you are the target audience. Always look for your multiple choice question. So what do you do? You're given your A, B, C or D. Go through it, say, well, it's obviously not that one. No, it can't be that one either. Okay, it might be this one or this one. And then you think about it, or right, it's not that one. And that's how you get to the right answer. You must know what is a logo and what is a slogan. So revise, logo, and slogan. You must go over visual techniques. You must know what is a font, what do they mean by the picture, what do they mean by the image, and how does it, the picture, the font, the image, any one of those, emphasize something. So why have they used that font, that picture, that image? And remember, you're going to relate it to their purpose, which is to sell you something. When you look at the pictures, the images, look for the feelings that you can see. Always look at contact details. If you are asked, why is there a web address? Why is there a telephone number? This is what you are going to answer. Sometimes it's turned around and they ask, how can you get more information? Then you go looking for the contact details. They very often ask if the advert is successful. You will say yes or no. But then you've got to give your reason. So focus on the message and focus on the audience. So, yes, it's successful because this specific audience, whoever they are, would really like to know this specific message, whatever it is, and so they would buy the product or they would ask for that service. I would start with the idea that an advert is successful before I go to the no answer. They love asking, how does the visual support the message. How do you answer that? Well, look at the visual really, really, really carefully. Then look at the words and then link them. So I'm advertising hand cream and I show rough red hands and then I show smooth, beautiful hands. So the message is buy my hand cream and you'll have the beautiful, smooth hands. That's how you do. You link it. You have to get a 4 out of 10 to pass that question. Our next question is going to be part of the language section of the paper, but before we go there, we're going to take an ad break.